Veteran TV reporter who became news himself after a freak accident while out covering a story. It's Miles O'Brien. He is opening up now about the injury that cost him part of his arm and the silver lining that he's now finding. ABC's Lindsay Janice is here with more. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning, Dan and Bianca. This is incredible. It happened just three weeks ago, but Miles O'Brien already back on PBS sharing his story about what was a bruise became an emergency that could have killed him. Award-winning journalist Miles O'Brien is speaking out for the first time since a freak accident cost him his left arm. It's not something I would uh, wish on anybody. He had just finished filming a story on Japan's infamous Fukushima nuclear plant and was on his next assignment in the Philippines, tweeting this photo of himself getting a haircut in Manila. Just days later, a case carrying heavy camera equipment fell on his arm. It hurt, but O'Brien didn't even consider medical attention until days later, telling PBS NewsHour host Judy Woodruff about the moment he realized he was in trouble. It began as a bruise, and it's just got a lot worse after about a day or so, and uh, the pain got worse. He says doctors knew immediately what they were dealing with acute compartment syndrome. I had literally had to wiki it with my phone because I had never heard of compartment syndrome. The muscles and veins doesn't expand and if there's some sort of inflammation or something that uh, causes swelling inside there, the pressure builds and there's no place for the blood to go. When an emergency operation went bad, doctors say the only option was partial amputation. They told me going in though that, you know, if things don't go well, you might lose your arm. O'Brien describing the excruciating aftermath. It's interesting, the pain when you lose a limb is in what's absent. I feel my hand in a way more acutely than I ever did when I had it. It's clenched up, it's like it's in a vice practically, and at times it can be extremely painful. And what got him through? I love what Winston Churchill said, you know, if you're going through hell, just keep going. Well, now O'Brien says he's trying to figure out how to go back to doing the other thing that he loves. Dan and Bianca, when he was in rehab, he asked them, how am I going to fly a plane again or ride a bike? He's a pilot. They said, don't worry, we have attachments for all of that. And mm -hmm. part of the reason is because, sadly, all the soldiers coming back from the war, right. the yeah. technology's moved on a lot. Well, he is a great reporter, and we wish him the best, and we hope he continues Very to Very brave. Can't believe that just happened really three brave. weeks ago. He's got yeah. a great attitude about this. All right, Lindsay, thank Thanks, you. Lindsay, appreciate it.